Hello and welcome friends. Today we are going to tell you about the control valve. Welcome to our video. A control valve is a device that helps to control fluid flow. This is very important as it is used in many different industries. There are many different types of control valves and each type has a unique function and use. Let us see its types. The first type is the globe valve. Its shape is like a globe. Hence the name globe valve. These valves are designed to control fluid flow. The basic design of a globe valve consists of a circular disc, which is called plug, which moves on the circular seat inside the body of the valve. When the valve is open, the plug moves away from seat to allow fluid flow. When the valve is closed, the plug retracts onto the seat and stops fluid flow. These valves generally operate in high pressure applications. And, they are used in many sizes and materials. So that, they can be customized according to applications or they can be used according to applications. In pneumatic systems, these valves can control pressure, flow rate, temperature, and other parameters. In addition, the valves can also be used in on-off applications. The second type is the butterfly valve. Butterfly valves control fluid flow from a circular disc. Its shape is like a butterfly, hence the name is butterfly valve. Butterfly valves are very flexible and control fluid flow in a smooth and precise manner. Its disc is rotated 90 degrees, which is used to control or regulate the fluid flow. Because its disc rotates 90 degrees, that's why it is also called quarter turn valve. The third type is the ball valve. Ball valves control fluid flow with a spherical ball. Ball valves are very durable and reliable. Its ball is rotated to start or stop the fluid flow. Means, the ball rotates and the fluid flow passes and stops. Now let's see that how does a control valve work? The work of a control valve is to adjust fluid flow. It consists of an actuator and valve disc. The actuator is used to open and close the valve. The valve disc controls the fluid flow. Pneumatic actuators are operated with compressed air. The air coming from air compressor is applied to pneumatic actuators. By using pneumatic actuators, fluid flow can be precisely controlled. When an air signal is given to the actuator, the valve is open and fluid flow begins. When the air signal is not given to the actuator, the valve closes and fluid flow stops. Now, we will discuss control valve installation. Control valve is installed in a pipeline and then it controls various parameters like temperature, pressure, level, flow etc. Now we will discuss how to choose a control valve for a pipeline. Control valve size is kept same as the size of pipeline. Suppose if the pipeline size is 4 inches, then control valve size will also 4 inches. The control valve shown in the image has same size as the line size. Now, let me explain you inputs and outputs of a control valve. You can see an arrow on the control valve. Its direction is from left to right. Its input is at the starting point of arrow, means at left side. Its output is at the end point of arrow, means at right side. 
so it is very easy to understand the input and output of any control valve control valve direction is from input to output let's discuss instrumentation work required for control valve installation first of all air tubing is done mainly three types of air tubings are used for a pneumatic control valve we will discuss these one by one the first type of tubing is ss tubing ss means stainless steel the tubing is shown by the arrow and hand arrow the second type of tubing is brass tubing in the image brass tubing is shown by the hand arrow and the third type of tubing is pneumatic tubing it is shown by the arrow note that some ferrules and fittings are used for air tubing of a pneumatic control valve in the images ss ferrules and fittings are shown also various parts of fitting and ferrule are shown in these images brass ferrules and fittings are shown one more important point to note is similar ferrules are used for both sides of connector we will use ferrules at right hand side similar to left hand side ferrules for pneumatic tubing pneumatic pipes and push fittings are used these are shown in the images Now we will discuss signal wire connections for a control valve. Control valve was operated by pneumatic signal or air signal. But control valve actuator is operated by electrical signal and this signal is usually 4 to 20 milliampere signal. Control valve actuators are pneumatic actuator and electropneumatic actuator. in the right side image electro pneumatic actuator is shown and in the left side image pneumatic actuator is shown remember one point pneumatic actuator is always used with i to p converter let me explain you air tubing connections for a pneumatic control valve we will discuss tubing connections for electro pneumatic positioner and pneumatic positioner first i will explain you air tubing connections for electro pneumatic positioner tubing connections are very easy for this positioner this positioner has only two ports for air connections its input is connected with supply air 4 to 20 milliampere signal is provided here as shown in the image and its output is connected with control valve Now I will explain you air tubing connections for pneumatic positioner. I to P converter is used to control the pneumatic positioner. Air supply for I to P converter is shown in the image by the arrow. Electrical signal means 4 to 20 milliampere signal is feed here. We use two wires for connections. One is connected at positive terminal and one is connected at negative terminal. In the circle three pressure gauges are shown one gauge is for air supply usually instrument is written on one gauge i to p converter output is connected at this port one gauge is for control valve air or output air the port is connected at control valve two afr means air filter regulators are used one afr is used for i to p converter supply I to P converter supply is kept approximately 1.5 kg per square centimeters. Now let's see second AFR second AFR is used for pneumatic positioner supply. You can better understand pneumatic or air connections by this image supply air is provided to air filter regulators for i to p converter and pneumatic positioner 
1.5 kg per square centimeters is set on I2P converter AFR, when 4 to 20 mA signal is feed to I2P converter, it gives output to pneumatic positioner, then control valve is operated according to the signal. When we take a control valve in line, then isolation valve's positions will be as shown in the image. The bypass isolation valve is kept in close position. The isolation valves before and after the control valve should be in open position. A bypass line is also provided with control valve. Sometimes we need to repair the control valve, so bypass line is provided. When we take bypass line in line, we will open bypass valve and both isolation valves before and after the control valve are closed. So, that was our video. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends.